It's delightful here. Dreamy. I just did Bikram. Next, I have Ashtanga. Mmm. I'm so excited about this vacation, Hiram. It's the Greenblatts. The couple from Brook Realm? Yes. Greetings, and welcome to the enchanted realm of Aspero, a perfect resort built to impart perfect harmony. Oh. What's going on? Clouds on Aspero? Oh. Impossible, we've never had a cloud here. <laughs> What do you want with us? Oh, we don't want you. We just want your realm's magic treasures. The famed scrolls of Aspera. Of course, this place won't be much fun to visit after we take them. <laughs> Up in the tower, ladies. I'm thinking of a number between one and ten. Eight? <gasps> What's going on? Oh. Whoa, what happened to Layla? It's about time you got back. Oh. Now, you've got some serious explaining to do about your multiple day unauthorized absence from this campus. Uh, not now, Griselda. Please. Layla needs your help. She's blind. Baltor took her sight. Oh. oh. Come in, Stella. You're just in time to see some magic at work, my dear. What happened to Layla? Is she okay? What happened to your friend is both terrible and wonderful. A dark spell struck her, taking away her sight. But Layla was also able to achieve her final fairy form. She now has Enchantix powers. And that means she is strong enough to break Baltor's mm. spell by herself. There is healing energy in the fairy dust in your new wings. If you concentrate hard, you will be able to release it. Mm. Feel it all around you, dear. You don't need your eyes to see it. from the wings on an Enchantix is one of the most powerful healing elements in the magical uh -huh. universe. Plus, the wings are fabulous! I really do hate to spoil this lovely moment, but there's still the matter of disciplinary action, as you did leave school and travel to another realm without permission. Plus, there were the twin offenses of phoning in a false illness report and using pixies to impersonate fairies. And so, as punishment, you will report to the school library where you will reorder all the books in the restricted section, and you will do so without using magic. Not good. That will be all, girls. You are now dismissed. Way to cover for us while we were gone, Stella. It might not be so bad. I mean, how many books can there be? I think 10,000, or maybe even 20. <laughs> Look, Bloom, you have a visitor. Huh? Hey! Sky, what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> I was on my way back to Red Fountain and I thought I'd stop by. I heard through the grapevine you guys saw some action in Tides. I wanted to make sure that you were okay. And then, I wanted to ask you something. Sure thing, what did you want to ask me? This weekend is my kingdom's 1,000 year anniversary and seeing as I'm the Prince of Arachleon and the host of the Millennium Party, I want to announce to the whole world that you're my girlfriend. Wow, the whole world? Wait, isn't that a lot of people? Well, I want everybody to know how important you are to me. That is, if that's okay with you, Bloom. Mm. <laughs> that's a yes, then? 
There isn't a thing in the world that can keep me from going to your party. Oh, no, wait a second. Griselda's put us all in detention and we're supposed to organize the library this weekend. Oh, no. Hmm. So once you absorb the magic of a sparrow's enchanted scrolls, all their power will be yours, right? Who knew taking the magic of an entire world could be so easy? Looks like we're talking to ourselves here! Ha! Hey, we just boosted all of a sparrow's magic! Add that to what you took from Solaria and Tides and we're on our way! Soon, you're gonna be the top dog sorcerer of the entire world. I'd think you'd show some enthusiasm instead of just staring endlessly at that Bloom loser! Do you think he's crushing on Bloom? <sighs> I'm studying her. Bloom is an enemy we don't want to underestimate. You should already know that. But <sighs> I have a plan that will keep her out of our way while we amass our power. So much power that there will be nothing she or anyone else in all the realms can ever do to stop us. Whoa, look up there! What's going on? Something weird is happening. We've just learned that the Dark Sorcerer Baltor has launched another attack, this time against the peaceful world of Espero. Espero's magic treasures have fallen into Baltor's hands, both damaging their peaceful world and giving him great power. I've called you here because we believe this means Baltor will soon target Alvia. Huh? No Our way! Our school safeguards many supreme magical spells, and that's why the other teachers and I have created a magical protective barrier. For your safety, and until Baltor is no longer a threat, nobody may enter or leave the school without special authorization, and that can only be issued by Griselda. Hmm. Oh, great! Now we'll never be able to get out of here. Well, you wouldn't be going anywhere anyway, Miss Stella. Or have you already forgotten about your library detention? <laughs> your detention will last until all the volumes in the restricted area are dusted, catalogued, and shelved. And remember, there is absolutely no magic allowed whatsoever. They're all yours, Miss Barbatea. Thank you, Griselda. Now, girls, follow me, if you will. Let me tell you, these books can be real pests. They think they can do whatever they want, and some of them have very bad tempers. Here. Uh, yes! <gasps> <gasps> uh, 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 ancient curses. They're always so rude. With this pile of books, and at the rate we're going, we'll be here forever. Actually, Flora, according to my calculations, working at this rate, we should be done by late Sunday. Well, I guess the Heraklion anniversary party's a bust. Trey, tragic! Come on, girls, let's not give up. Saturday is Bloom's party, and I, for one, don't intend to let her miss it. But Saturday is tomorrow! It'll be impossible to get this all done without using magic. Unless... Unless what? Unless it's not our magic we use! If a book were to use its magic, that wouldn't be breaking Griselda's rules. I predict that failure is highly probable. I say it's more than just probable, it's all but certain. And besides, it would still be cheating. Forget it, Stella. The catalog notes said the blue book has a wish-granting genie in it, so all we have to do is open the book. How can that be cheating? Who dares disturb my rest? Ah! Oops, must have read that wrong. Hey, this book's a live one! Zelda or no Griselda, we're gonna have to use magic now! <gasps> Layla, you and the Pixies make sure no teachers are coming! Sure thing! Come on, you guys! Okay, girls, let's go! We are the wings. We are the wings. We are the wings. We are the wings.
do is protect all these books. We're on it. It's just beginning. Aren't you going out tonight, Princess Diospero? All of Arachleon is celebrating. <sighs> There's nothing for me to celebrate. Now take that dress away. I don't want to see it. But it's so beautiful, and I thought you were planning to wear it tomorrow to Prince Sky's Millennium Party at the King's Palace. If you think I would ever go to a party where my ex-fiancé is bringing his precious little Althea girlfriend, then you need to, like, get out of my sight right now. <sighs> I wish there was a way that I could get rid of that stupid fairy bloom. <laughs> What are you doing? How dare you enter my royal quarters? I'm here to help you get what you want. Get out of my room right now or I'll have the guards throw you out! But then how would you get rid of that stupid fairy bloom and get to keep Prince Sky all to yourself? Here, this will make all your dreams come true. We're doing so well, Bloom. We might just make that party after all. Are you getting excited? Yeah, but if I do get to go, I think I'll be intimidated by all the royal ceremony stuff. You are going to get to go, and it's going to be majorly romantic and wonderfully fabulous. Stella, your optimism is inspiring. Sky will bring you up to one of the royal palace balconies overlooking the grand courtyard. I'm getting goosebumps. Down below, the masses will be jockeying to see better. The press will be fighting for that front page shot, and everyone's eyes will be on you. Mm. Oh boy, Stella, now I'm even more nervous than before. You guys forget I grew up in Gardenia. But we didn't, and we're gonna help <laughs> you figure this out. Yeah, Layla and I will teach you how to be a perfect princess in no time at all. I appreciate it, but something tells me you have a lot more work to do than you realize. <laughs> this is going to be fun! <laughs> this might seem simple, but first impressions are formed by how you walk, how you sip, and how you do the royal bow. <laughs> On average, a princess spills only one drop of tea per 1,000 cups sipped. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> now, the royal bow is harder than it seems. Toes together. Bend at the waist in a two-step process. <sighs> Go for it! Good morning, your majesty. Perfect walk. Good bow. Now all you have left to do is master the royal look. Huh? It's what separates the palace raised from the posers. Now, eyes narrowed, chin up, and eyebrows arched. Now slightly flare your nostrils. How's this? <laughs> so what do we think? Good? Yup, now try the look and bow. Huh? Oh. 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 I guess sipping and walking will have to do. 
And I thought the look was pretty good, too. I don't want to spoil the party, but your crash course for princesses has seriously slowed us down, and we are now significantly behind schedule. All right, panic not, because Bloom will definitely make her party, as I have another fabulous idea. Perhaps we should just simply clean up the books? Yeah, no more tricks. Let's just get to work. Just us girls sharing everything. Just us girls. Every book has been cleaned, catalogued, and reordered. Your detention is over. Well, then, I think it's only fair that the girls be allowed to go to Arachleon. You know what that means. Party, Party time! time! Before you go, Bloom, I need a private word with you about an urgent matter. What is it, Miss F? Something you've been wanting to know about for a long time. There are things that you need to know about Baltor, things that connect him to you. Baltor said something like that on Tides, but I didn't know what he was talking about. This book will explain to you what happened. What you see here is the Company of Light, a brave order made up of the best of the heroes, fairies, and sorcerers, and founded to fight Baltor and the three ancient witches. Baltor was with the ancient witches? Yes. They are the ones who created him. You see, just like you, Baltor's power comes from the dragon fire. Only his comes from an ember that was mixed with darkness. The witches took that dark ember and used it to create him. Now, the Company of Light was founded by your birth parents, Oratel and Miriam, in order to defend and protect your planet. As you know, the ancient witches destroyed Sparks, but they didn't do it without a valiant and heroic fight from Oratel and Miriam. How do you know all of this? Because I was a member of the Company of Light along with Griffin and Saladin, and it was with your parents that we faced Baltor in his final battle. Miss F, you were with my parents in that final battle? Yes, Bloom, but we were knocked out, and it was your parents who defeated Baltor and locked him away in the Omega Dimension. But the price of that victory was very very high, as Oratel and Miriam never returned that day. If no one saw what happened to them in that battle, do you think it's possible that they could maybe, um, well, uh... What, dear? Well, that my parents might still be alive somewhere. Bloom, I can't say. Nobody can. Nobody but Baltor. He's the last one who saw my parents. He knows the answer. Bloom, you need to be very careful. Baltor is a vengeful creature. One thing I know is that sooner or later, he's going to try to destroy you. 